Hello. 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 Every Rush song. Hello and welcome to Every Rush Song. That's what the show is about. We'll soon analyze and discuss Every Rush Song. You can send us emails, 2112 at Every Rush Song. And you can find us on the social medias, the socials, at Every Rush Song. Every single one of them. What song are we doing today on this special day? February 24th, according to my calculations. Well, I will give one hint. In the video that they used to play when they did the song live, it featured David Lee Roth. I Really? Dressed I up as his eat em and smile character. I, I don't, I think that was just something that some idiot kid said. Oh, okay. <laughs> I think that was you, Shane. Been definitely an idiot kid. Right. No doubt. Well, I, it sounds to me like you're talking about the uh, song off of Power Windows that we're yeah. discussing yeah. called Territories. Am I correct? That is correct. Territories. Yes. One of my favorites, like ever. What do you think? What do y'all, y'all like, y'all it, like it's it? It's a great, it's a great dance song. It's got my favorite line in any Rush song ever. Should I what say about, or? Is it the one about butterbeer? It's better food. It's better people, better food, and better beer. Yeah, yeah. Uh, probably the worst line of the song, Jay. Tim, what do you think? <laughs> <laughs> wow. You know, no. in, in honor of that. It is one of my favorites from that album. Mad Eye. Mine too. It's my top three from that album. From Power I'll Windows? That. Yeah. It's one of those songs that I listen to and it makes me think, now, I can't remember, do I like these sorts of musical textures or these things in songs? because of power windows or do i like power windows because of it has all these things in it and i think power windows affected me that much and, and territories was a big part of that yeah. So. yeah i've said this before with the whole rock band three-piece power trio guitar bass drums and the addition of keyboards this was the best album with all of that going on. Where so it's your favorite it, album now. It's his third favorite. Oh, no, that's right. That's right. Okay. It's tied with everything else at number two. That's right. No, 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 no. It's tied with everything else at number three because you said Vapor Trails is your second favorite. I did not say that. I, I, I have it on tape. Uh, Shane, roll the tape. Okay, here, let me pull up on things. Phaser Trolls is my second favorite album. See? See? Proof. It's on tape. Yeah. 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 Couldn't possibly fake that. Mm -mm. I tried. And Save even with us, my... every Rush fans. <laughs> Your every only... Rush song fans, save us, please. Your only hope. There is another. And one of those things that I love in songs, it's a simple thing, but just the, the doom. Doom, the core notes on the kick drum doom, and the ticka, 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 yeah, on a, on a hi-hat. I just like just a steady quarter note kick drum beat. Maybe that's why you can dance to it. It's a strong, you can dance beat. if you want to, uh, but you can leave your friends behind. Yeah. <laughs> all the, all the dance songs in the world. And you went with that. <laughs> Pathetic. Yeah. Wow. Now shout out to Shane, the Weasley twins. Shane, yes. I don't think you'll remember because you can't no. remember anything more than 15 years ago. More than seven years ago, no way. But I remember <laughs> I came over to your house one time for whatever reason. Never happened. And you made me listen to something you had done to territories. Yes. Oh, boy. <laughs> what did I do? How old, how old were, were, were you guys were, at this time? How did I? What did I? Oh, this was uh, in high uh, school. I had to yeah, be in high school. Yeah, it had to be right? in high school. Yeah. Uh, okay. When I, Shane 
figured out how to, you know, back in the old days, using blank cassette tapes to record, make your mix tapes or whatever. Okay. Shane had taken the song Territories and he started it. And then Shane created like a 25 minute long version of Territories where just that introduction went on forever. And I kept looking at him and Shane was just laughing. Just laughing so hard. Oh my God. How and long I, must that have taken me to do that? I'd write. Oh, it had to have taken me forever. Right. Oh my God. Well, yes. I would love to hear that. I love to, I have no idea. <laughs> you, I mean, it went forever, you know. And uh, in fact, I think you even did a little, you know, kind of rapping mix when he did the better beer, 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 no, beer. No. Yes. Did I? Yes. <laughs> Are you sure? Why have even done that? Now, 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 when, when, when I sat down to listen to this, I didn't see Shane put a tape in the cassette player. No. I thought he had went out and bought this new extended dance mix version of Territories. <laughs> So you thought it was, you, you thought it was a real I, I thought, thing. Because you could not hear any of the little, like, you know, you, you push pause oh, on, yeah. on the cassette player. Yeah. You, you hear those little squeaks or glitches. No, it was so clean. That's wow. right. Because I had that, I had that rate, that stereo with the two cassettes. That's right. Yes. I could, I could mix yeah. things like that, like that. And I had friends who were DJs and they would do that with, with records that they would, you know, they would right. spin. And, and that, so I tried to do it with cassettes and recording to Jim, I did it with territory. <laughs> such great. Man. man, why don't I still have that? I hate I, you for not having that I, still. I, I oh, don't me know. Too. And then once I you know, learned what he had done, I started to try to do that, but oh, no. golly, I'm sorry. I, I've done like I did, I did one to Spirit of Radio, and I just had the opening guitar <laughs> go for like five minutes. Now think about the pain in the ass it was. <laughs> that would be even harder. Pause, I mean, I was doing... the, yes. Yeah. Yeah. So yes, that was that was that's wow. one of my fondest memories of territories. Well, uh -huh. 24 minute extended dance version. Well, see, wish... this is why I love the album Power Windows. It's not just about the album, the music. It's about the the fondness, the memories that you have because of it. Because it, to me, that was the first thing, as we've talked about before. That's like that's when I first really started getting into Rush, in high school, and and that was it's it's it brings back all the memories. Oh yeah. 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 And, that, and Power Windows is in that era, that wheelhouse for us. I think that's a great yeah. idea for yeah. um, if you're listening to the show and Power Windows might have come out a little before your time, but some other Rush album has fond memories from you. Email us at 2112 at every Rush song and, and tell us about that. That would be awesome to hear. And you can write it out or you can send us a, a voice memo, whatever works for you. Great idea, guys. I'm glad you thought of it. <laughs> While we're here. So let's get let's 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 jump into it. Um do let's. What do we love about this song? I'm going to er, start with Shane. Yeah. Shane. Um, well, this you may not know this about me, but I like to travel. I've heard. And... I also heard that you have a podcast. Yeah, I do have another podcast, All Things this, Travel. Uh, yes. Yeah, if you want to have, we say, travel tips, travel ideas, and travel stories, come check us out, All Things Travel. Check it out, folks. Um, and I think t t territories is, the gist of it is how we either take advantage of or take for granted other other countries uh -huh. and uh, it's or other places. And it's on, I think it's on different scales. It's on a worldwide scale. There's some, some, we have some territorial tendencies 
between states, between cities, between schools, between political parties, between fandoms. Like I've seen, I've seen on Twitter wars between Taylor Swift fans and Stray Kids fans, or or between uh, Hunger Games fans and Harry Potter fans. There's all these different territories that people get split into, and uh, I think it kind of it's kind of a scolding, I think, for how we don't treat each other better and and don't appreciate our differences more because if we would do that the line of um why move around the world when eden was so near eden you know at the beginning the garden of eden it was perfection right you know uh most beautiful place on earth and because of our differences, because of our uh, our prejudice and not being able to get along and, okay, I'm not putting up with that. I'm moving over here or we got to scatter. We can't take this anymore that we don't work on making the, the place that we're at our Eden. Mm, we think right. it's we're looking for something else. Right. I agree. Yeah. So what, so what I took out of like the, the, the lyric, we keep looking through the eyeglass in reverse. Don't feed the people, but we feed the machines. Can't really feel what international means. So like we're spinning our wheels, trying to like the be, be the best, the strongest, the most badass military, whatever. And in the meantime, the things that really matter, like compassion, uh, what we have in common, helping each other as fellow man, it all falls to the wayside. Mm -hmm. That's kind of what I took from it. I don't know if I'm right. Uh, You're not. There's no wrong answers, Jay. I mean, (laughs) it's awful, but it's not wrong. (laughs) It's awfully wrong. It's (laughs) awfully good. Yeah, when you re-listen to this, you're going to wish you would have never said that. No, I just re-listened to it today. <laughs> no, just because no. I want to hear about the better beer thing again, and it never tells you where to find it. It doesn't tell you where to find the better. But beer. see, oh, I think I think back same. then they were giving us their hint of their idea to one day have Rush beer. I think you're right. I think right. you're absolutely correct, sir. Ah, that's the better beer. Yes. Interesting. There's no, they don't use that in the marketing for that golden ale. You know what? That is a good point. <laughs> I really like that song, that lyric too, looking through the eyeglass in reverse. Cause I, I think it, but from, from the travel perspective, I see people a lot of times that, um, I wish that complain about other countries from the standpoint that it, didn't suit them. And I can't remember who said it. There's some some writer or something who said that other countries aren't made or built or function to make you comfortable. They're built to make them comfortable. And you're getting out of your comfort zone. That's why you're traveling, getting out of your comfort zone and, and going and exposing yourself to this other culture and this other way of life. Who and aren't going to like you? <laughs> they may not. And looking through the eyeglass in reverse means you're you're looking at this other place, but you're still looking at it through your perspective. It's it's like how does it suit you? How does it relate to you? And right. you're still keeping it about you instead of how instead of just looking at them through a proper eyeglass, the proper way, and appreciating them for what they are and how they are, and seeing what you can learn from it or or soak in from it, and how it can not how it affects you, but maybe how you can grow from it just by opening your mind to something different. It's like Austin. People come from California and say, I love this place. I want to move here. And it's because it's so unique. It's, it's, <laughs> it's, it's, it's amazing. These people, you know, they, they figured it out and then I want to change it. Yeah. Why well, move to Texas like if Eden was yeah. so near? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> hey. We drank at the same time, and Tim just I, watched I, us and let the air, air yeah. die. I, 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 was, I, was, I, I, was, I was enjoying the dramatic pause. Oh, thank you. Oh, yeah, I just had it stuffed. Ah, ah, <laughs> what? Oh, oh. Uh, man. Shirley, you can't be serious. Uh, I yes. am serious, and stop calling me Shirley. Sorry. Nice, nice. 
What, what was the, um, all right, so Tim, maybe you know this. I should have asked you this before so you could look it up, but Territories has that sort of, um, that sort of, I guess, the Asian influence mus musically, kind of like Tai Shan, right? Territories. Uh, I don't consider it Asian. You don't that kind of that, to me, it no. sounds a little, no? No, you're okay. wrong. Okay, all right. Yeah. Okay, no. well. Throw all that out. Pretend like I never said it. I'm no, going to edit it. To, to me, it's <laughs> almost kind of um, more, more of a African kind of rhythm, mm -hmm. drum-wise. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And yeah, the, do, 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 the toms and the... Okay. Right. Yeah. What do you... So then, do you think the guitar is at all so maybe maybe multicultural or is is the guitar too maybe more african and i'm just change this wrong again well i want to say i wouldn't say that the guitar is african i just think it's once again the genius of alex lifeson you know that's right you know um golly it's probably the the most guitar rhythms he played on that album all in one song. He, well, yeah, because there wasn't a whole bunch of wah, 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 wah. Yeah. which I love, but yes, right. Well, so the the Middle Kingdom. I did some between research. heaven and earth. I googled. I googled things and I looked up. So the Mandarin name for China is I can't pronounce it. Z h o n g g u o. Zong Zongao, maybe I don't Zingalium. know. Zongaoyun. Uh, but it it means what? <laughs> Zingang. Zingang. You know what? You're probably right. Your Zingang. your your Mandarin is, has improved immensely since we started this podcast, Jay. Well, it is my favorite orange. Thank you. I mean, you're welcome. Good mm. for you. I don't know what to say to that. I and so I'm rambling. But yeah. that what Jay said means Middle Kingdom or or Middle Country, and the the ancient Chinese. I'm reading my own notes here believed that they were the center of the world and they believed that their home was set above others. So see the middle kingdom between heaven and earth. I I, I promise I'm not going to try to shoehorn Tai Shan into every conversation, but I, I wonder when, when did he go? When did Neil go to China? That was between power windows and hold your fire. Okay. Okay. So he didn't, so he didn't visit Tai Shan. He visited Tai Shan probably after he wrote territories before he wrote there goes that theory man all right well <laughs> thanks for listening um i'm sorry we have to end this show this way but uh wow wow it's disappointing well, Our maybe, skill is bedford you've been a wonderful <laughs> audience well maybe maybe he he researched it and he came to that conclusion to himself before he went he did too. So you mean he researched it by what? Reading a book? No, that's not Neil. Maybe a book <laughs> or 90. Yeah. God forbid. Yeah. Well, God forbid Neil reads a book. Right. Neil loved books. Well, since you two won't let us and do Classic Angels. What? Since I you two read won't that let though. us do Clockwork, Clockwork Angels, maybe I'll, I'll do What's Classic. Cl I can't. Clockwork Angels. I guess I'll read Neil's. I actually do want to read that one. I want to read that. Uh, it's a whole book that he wrote. Clockwork Angels is a um, like is a it fictional fantasy fiction? Yeah, fantasy steampunk type story. Oh, um, no. And the author that kind of helped him with it went on to write three more, I think, books in a series of Clockwork. Kevin J. Anderson. Anderson. Thank you, Tim. Kevin J. Anderson. Yep. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Is it? Is it? Is it? You said steampunk, and you kind of had me out. Really? You don't like steampunk? What is there to like about? Uh, let's see. For one thing, it's awesome. For another thing, it's totally awesome. And thirdly, it's completely awesome. So, so well, you know, you. those are good points. I didn't think about that. So, yes, I oh. would like to read that book. <laughs> Thanks. I'm. I'm glad I was. You. you so he re he wrote the first one, and the other two were written by the other guy after he passed. Yeah. Or yeah, yeah. Oh uh, no, cool. no, Kevin J. Well, Anderson. At, is... at least the second one, the second book that Cage uh, Kevin J. Anderson did, Neil was still alive. 
Okay. Okay. Hey, Neil will always um, be alive, right? Here. Uh, no, Tim, you're a bigger Star Wars expert than I. Uh, Ke- Kevin J. Anderson wrote some yes. Star Wars themed books. Are they canon? Uh, no, they're legacy. And then he also wrote some books adding on well, to the end of the Dune series. Right. He, yeah. Oh, did he really? He yeah. is extremely prolific. He, he writes a lot. I've got a few lyrics here, but y'all, anything that you have to just hop on in. Um, we all figure that our homes are set above other people than the ones we know and love. It, it's weird. No, didn't it seem like that no matter where someone is from, they think it's better. Like Americans think America is better than every other country. I know because some Spaniards. I know some Spaniards that think Spain is better than any other countries. I had a friend from from Russia. Russia is better than every other country. I had a friend from Poland. Poland is better than yeah. every other country. Yeah. We yeah. have friends from Argentina. Yeah, Ulysses, and it, Ulysses is better than any other city. Am I right, Tim? Yeah, it is. It, yeah. In fact, I mean, it's a uh, junior high was the best JH in the whole HEB. Right. Yes. Exactly. So you understand. Right. Well, see, Democrats, the, why, the best party the in the world, right? Spain feels that way is because they tried to get out of the country and move and discover parts of America, but we kicked their ass right out. <laughs> mm-hmm. So now they're having to say, oh, yeah, no, we actually like it here better. They do have good ham. That ham's pretty good. I love ham. Mm-hmm. I love yeah, ham. Pretty good. And that kind of leads into, you know, that's the same point in every place with a name, they play the same territorial game. You see yeah. that in a lot of a lot of different levels. And what I like to do is tie different songs together. And that sort of um, that the different circles we keep holding our ground is kind of that every place with the name of these different circles, which reminds me of natural science with each microcosmic planet, the complete society simple kind mirror to reflect our own living in their pools they seem to forget about the sea right so the the different it, it, it starts off talking about the tide pools and the he, he when you see these tide pools they kind of see inside the t- tide pool they don't know that there's other pools they don't know that there's a sea as far as the creatures in this little tide pool are, are concerned right, they're the entire the universe world. right yeah and then i i think it's pretty cool that uh that kind of comes back that different circles we keep holding our ground and from natural science the wheels within wheels and a spiral array i think that's i think that's a pretty cool theme that it keeps coming along where you have these societies and these groups that are within groups and each one thinks that they're better than the other whether it's on a more macro level or a more micro level yeah, it's been that way since the beginning of time it's what we do it's human Right. It must be second nature. I mean, the places where we live. Let's talk about it sensibly. We're not insensitive. I know that time doesn't have the patience, but something's got to give. Wrong album. Still, I like the themes that he carries. Yes. There once was an old man from (laughs) men. Uh, whose uh, dichotomy sorry <laughs> and then there's another line that i think ties to another song in fact i'm going to give you the line and you tell me what other rush song and i'll give you i'll narrow it down it's one that we've done an episode on we get the drunken and the passionate pride of the of the citizens along for the run i'm going to give you 10 seconds which hunt? Ain't hey, about did you know? Oh. What? I said, ain't talking about love. <laughs> uh, it's, that was not really rushed. Every was... Van Halen song <laughs> with Dave. <laughs> <laughs> nice, yeah. Tim. Yeah, that's exactly what I was. That was thinking. Impressive, sir. Why, Tim? Why? Jay, let's drink while Tim tells us. All right. What's that going to tell us? He's just going to let the air die. Because um, the passion and the drunken pride. 
you, you're passionate, you get a little drunk, you get a little rowdy. Next thing you know, you're lighting torches and you're going out and you're going to find the thing that you don't like or possibly understand because you're your passionate and drunken pride has kept you from wanting to accept other people. All the, all because they put on a tux, a top hat, and saying putting on the Ritz. I mean, it's just. It's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. I get you. I, I'm just thankful that we haven't seen that happen at all in the past few years. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very happy that that hasn't happened at all. Well. It's, it's, um, that's a sad thing. It's, it's never going to change. I mean, it's, it's throughout history. It's always been the same. Same as it ever was. Same, same as, as it, it ever, ever was. was. Yes. Same as it ever was. That last verse, I think that last verse is a little controversial. The last verse? Yes. I'm, oh I, yeah, I can't, a little bit. Yeah, but I get it. I get it though. I can't. What is the last verse? Right, I'm gonna. I want to. I want to get it right. So I'm. I'm going to pull it up to make sure that I get it right. Because you know, I can probably do it from memory. But let's do it. No, right. you can't. Neither can I. They shoot without shame in the name of a piece of dirt, for a change of accent or the color of your shirt. Dark blue, by the way. Better the pride that resides in a citizen of the world than the pride that divides when a colorful rag is unfurled. Is that what the, what it actually says? Well, yeah. Wait, hold on. What did you think it said? I always said when that colorful flag is I did too. <laughs> I did too. Oh, uh, no. Uh, I've rag. been saying but, it wrong for a hundred years now. But it gives the same, it's the same thing though, flag, rag. I mean, it's, it's you're talking about the disrespect that you give another country you're I, talking about um shane help me out here tim let's drink while jay talks oh i i have seen people upset that that he would refer to our flag as a rag is he referring to our flag as a rag? no i don't, I don't think, think so referring i think I, I think it's for anybody yeah. In their country, 1980, Winter Olympics, mm. Soviets versus the U.S. hockey team. Oh, yeah. Of Miracle course, on ice. The, the, any of those Ruskies that were here to witness that in person? Jay, can we say that? Ruskies? Yeah. Is that uh, no, we cannot. We cannot okay. say Ruskies. Sorry, Tim. Sorry, Tim. Uh, when able... those bloody Soviets came over here, to watch that hockey game when the American flag was unfurled, mm -hmm. they weren't going, oh, yes, that's great. The, these people, you know, they're very proud of their country and they stand for some good stuff and oh, we want to be friends. No, 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 no. They're booing. They don't like it. Um, I mean, oh, I think. It's creepy. I didn't see it that way. Go ahead, Jason. Same, same way with the Davis yeah. Cup in, in golf. Right. No. You know, the 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 Euros versus the Americans. So the line is, is it in the name of a piece of dirt for a change of accent or color of your shirt by the pride that resides in the citizen of the world, then the pride that divides when a colorful flag, sorry, rag is unfurled. It's basically to me it says we're all, you know, it's a Every we're looking at the things that are not that 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 make us different and and not the things that we that that we can agree on. So the flag, it's all because the flag. I'm I'm honoring my flag, but it's a, every country is going to be loyal to their own country. Right. So uh, let's look past that. Let's look at something we can do that we can agree on. And, you know, maybe let's, uh, I don't know, leave each other the hell alone. <laughs> and I, it's interesting, too. I, I, I always thought about it, maybe the opposite, where the, the pride divides because 
our flag is better than your flag, but you're looking at it from the from the point of view of booing, of of disrespecting the other flag versus the pride well, of my flag. You're looking at this because it's dead because it's not their flag. They're not. Yeah. They're they're it's they're the pride of their country, yeah. and they look at it as you know we're the best. Go you know Pakistan or Russia or. And and I, and I was going to say, but then it just hit me. The line wow. they they shoot without shame in an uh, in the name of a piece of dirt. Okay, so countries taking over other countries just so that they can so uh, expand their territory. I'm going well, talking golly, to you, that, Russia. That, that that really hasn't happened in a long time, except for what's going on right now with Russia and Ukraine. Oh, that's a good point. I didn't think about that. You know, I mean, Russia just wants Ukraine because they want Ukraine. And then their pride gets in the way. Now, what was going and on? And they would that? rather blow up the the world than, God forbid, have their pride. Right. And will threaten anybody else who wants to intervene in that. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So I think what we're saying here is, never mind. <laughs> never mind. Up, hey, bring it home. Well, well, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. I'm not uh, going to do it. Well, and yeah, you know, and you know, like but I agree with piece him. Of, piece of dirt. It could be your your country, right? I mean, you're talking about Russia and Ukraine. Um, what was going on in '85? Well, I mean, the, um, I mean, we were still in the Cold War a little bit, right? When did the wall come down? 1989. Nine. I just, I just happened to Google that right there. November 9th, 1989. Wow. Five, all five years and a month after this album came out. Coincidence? I yeah. don't think. But it could also be pieces of dirt, like in neighbors versus neighbor. Like, you know, your fence line, your fence is on my line, something like that. You mowed too far over into my lawn or maybe like gang territory in a, in a city. Yeah. Too. Yeah. Uh, you know, change of accent, I think that's pretty obvious because <laughs> it's I don't, it, it, that how we, and, and, and I, this just bugs me. I can't even talk about it. It just drives me crazy about, <laughs> about it. Is this a beer talking or is that the frustration and disgust it's the, talking? It's the frustration <laughs> I know, like, and the beer. <laughs> I, I love accents. I love talking to someone from another country and it doesn't matter what condition the country's in. I don't think there's as any long qualitative as they speak differences English. between us. As long as they speak English. I don't care if you have an accent. Let's, if, they, if they speak our language and we don't speak that, theirs, it makes that, at least that person the tiny bit, you know, a little bit better than us, at least in that regard. If they well, it makes us a lot. It makes us language. very cocky that, that we don't have to be, have to speak their language, but they should be able to speak ours. You know, it makes us a little bit, I mean, I, 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 that, that's something I, I really would love to do. Start learning at least one other language. You know? Well, I mean, you should, you should, before you go to Scotland, you should try to learn a little bit. Of I'm going to, well, yes, before <laughs> I go to Scotland and Ireland, I'm going to, I'm going to really learn the language, kind of get the, the understanding of what they're saying. So, so when I go up to them and say, excuse me. Where can I find the bathroom? Yes. And there's a lot. Why are you, uh, why are you yelling at me? <laughs> I'm not deaf. <laughs> I'm not deaf. You have an accent. <laughs> oh, that's the fucking bathroom's right there. <laughs> that's a very interesting political point right there. That Jay made? Well, that both of y'all are talking about. Well, that CDI glass in reverse, Tim. Ain't talking about love. You know, when you're, for whatever reason, if you decide you want to move to France. That's a good idea. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. You want to no. move to France. They have good fries there. Yeah. yeah. You know, but, there's a place in France. Where, never mind. Go ahead. But, you know, our biggest complaint over here is people coming into our country and not, not wanting to learn the language that we speak. Yeah. You move to France, uh, you should learn French. 
learn French. French. Yeah, absolutely. Right. I mean, you. Mm. Yeah, no, I, well, I, I'm not just... disagreeing with you. In fact, I well, the last time we went, we went to Madrid, stayed with my mother-in-law. We were there long enough that I needed to get a haircut there. And it was like a month into it. And the barber said, you've been here a month. You should be learning our language. And I was like, yeah, he's not wrong. <laughs> <laughs> he's not no, wrong i mean at, at home we would be saying that about anyone that was here from another country you've been here this long you should be learning the language so yeah no yeah i agree i i yeah well that's why i want to like i said i mean like if i go to a you know we're joking about ireland but if i go to if i go to germany i want to at least know a little bit where i can have that some can, sort of a conversation to communicate communicate you know? And I can say, hey, look, I'm not from here. I don't speak your language well, but I think what I'm asking you is, you know, you know, can I have your money? <laughs> <laughs> and it is like you said earlier, the people, you know, you move, for example, from California to Austin. Yeah. Austin's great. But then after a while, well, I'm a little uncomfortable. I want to make it more like California. Right. Well, if California was so great. Why'd you leave? Why did you leave? There's already a California, yeah, and I love California, but I also that, love Austin. I don't want Austin to be California, too. That bugs me, too. If you want to go somewhere because of what's there, go there and and don't necessarily have to assimilate, but at least appreciate what is what is there, and don't try to change it to what you left. Otherwise, go back there. It's already like that. Yeah. Right. Now, I mean, if you're going there to visit, yes, but if you're going there to live, then you need to work on yeah. assimilating just, 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 just so you can communicate just so that you can, I mean, why go there if you're not planning on doing life with the people of that region of right. that country? Because you keep looking through the eyeglass in reverse. Exactly. And if, exactly. And if you want to add to it, if you want to say there was there's something I do here in California that I'd like to bring to the table, what do you think? Oh yeah. You know, yep. that's right. fine, but let's not just buy up a bunch of all the land and say, okay, all right, everybody that lives here, you get out, rents, uh, you know, you gotta buy this and it's every, the property value is going up a hundred percent. You know, it's 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 ridiculous. What were we talking about? Well, Jay, I'm sorry to say this, but that brings us to the while their invaders dream of lands they've left behind. Yes. <laughs> better people, right. better food, better beer, and better beer, and yes. butter beer, and butter, butter beer. beer. I didn't know, was butter, butter beer. even out in 1985? I don't think so. Mm -mm. No. How did that was know? way before the Harry Potter? Yes, yeah. but you know, way I mean, before the Harry Potters. Yeah. And if you can get out of that mindset and you can go to another country and appreciate their food and their beers, then I mean, yeah, I mean, it's just going to make your life that much more fulfilling and fun and memorable than if you want everyone else to change to be like you. And th that's the thing is like when I go to even in the United States, it, when I go to another state. Yeah, I just want to. I want to go where the locals go. I want to. I want to see what they like and hang out and experience their culture and what they do. So I, you know, that's the same way in going to another country. You know, I want to try to experience everything and try to fit in as much as I can. And and uh, yeah, and that is why territories resonates so much with what you just said. Ooh, wait a minute. Hold on. I don't have a mic except for this one. I don't want to drop it because it's very expensive. I know. I think I'm dropping this mic too, but it would fall right on my laptop. And that could oh, be that would hurt. quite yeah. costly, more than I can afford. Well, yes. I don't. I don't have a mic. Oh, so Obviously. drop it. Drop it. Oh, what? It's a mic drop. Oh, wait a second. I can't hear. <laughs> well, all right, gents. Anything else on the most extraordinary, fabulous song? territories no i think you you i think you pretty much uh put a exclamation point there on the whole thing oh with the your, lyrics right job. musically it it was a rock and song neil yep. started 
uh, you know, he was doing some stuff that, I mean, he was, he was really expanding out. Um, you would have thought he would have, cause it was roll the bones where Neil put a floor Tom to his left. So you've got the, you've got the hi hat and then right to the left of that, he put a floor Tom over there. So when he's doing oh, 16 floor Tom, floor Tom by the hi hat. Right. For the doo doo. Cause it's floor Tom's usually on the. It's usually on the opposite side of the hi-hat, right? Exactly. Yeah. So for him to do that, you know, he's way over here. But when they brought the territories back, playing it R40, it was a lot easier for him because he had that floor tom right mm -hmm. there. You know, but that was some interesting uh, percussive uh, stuff he was he was venturing out in. Uh, what he does on the hi-hat. I'm sure somebody's done it before. I'd never heard it. I always thought he was doing straight on the hi hat, just. But you hear what I thought maybe he went in and overdubbed a little choking of a triangle. But he's oh, wow. hitting. He's hitting the bell of the hi hat to get that sound. Never like, heard him do anything like that. Towards the middle of, of the, towards of that the top very symbol. middle of the top symbol, just a look, it's got a small bell to it. Yeah. Uh, and, and that's what he was doing. That was really interesting. And I wonder how much difference the placement of the mic or, or the, the, uh, the EQ of that mic of that, of the hi hat channel has right. to do with how that sounds too. I mean, that's a lot of exactly. work that goes into that. That yes. really faint sound that you get, yeah. you get to really listen to to appreciate. You, you do. You you hear it better with earbuds or uh, ear uh, headphones on. But you know, power yeah, power windows, man. You can get so much out of that just with headphones where you can hear what's going on in the yes. other side. There's so much happening in there without making it muddy. It's still so crisp and clean. Yeah, man. How is this not everybody's favorite? Album? Now, I wanted to Damn. know, when did Getty get a bass voice? In every circle, we keep spinning round and round and round. Round. Oh. <laughs> round. 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 Just Fair kidding. Around. That wasn't Getty. That was James Earl Jones. <laughs> Did not know. <laughs> this is CNN. <laughs> All right. I do have a few. I have one, two, three, four, five. I have six things to note musically and production wise. So, anything else you have to? 455, right? Right before the final chorus, there's a, there's a triplet, and they all three go, bum, 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 bum. The whole wide world, an endless universe. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. All, yeah, yeah. I, just, I love triplets. And I especially love the, what is it? Is it an eighth note triplet where you, you know, if you have a beat, you've got that, 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 you've got that triplet, but then you've, yeah. got, you've got the dun, 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 dun triplet too. I love yes. that kind of triplet. And I know yes. not everybody loves triplets as much as I do, but that if you want to hear a really cold triplet stinger, ba, 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 four yeah. minutes and 55 seconds. My mom was a triplet. That's true. She was, wasn't she? Yeah. So yeah. I have a special for her. triplets. And it, it's not all because of your mom, Jay. We all loved hers <laughs> too, but. No, yeah. but uh, it's, it's the musical triplet. That's, uh... <laughs> Hello, uh, Amy, Beth, and Kathy. Oh, yeah. Hey, from, uh, from high school, the cheerleaders. Yeah. Yes. You think they're listening? Nice, you know what we nice need to ladies. do? We really need to share with our friends from on facebook that we have this podcast they would probably love to watch us hang make out, fools out of rush and make fools out of ourselves yes i mean i mean they would expect that all right first first if you're listening in headphones you can hear a really faint echo i mean a lot of times they'll echo a vocal to make it because it, when you have an echo or a reverb it kind of hides if the singer isn't really good it can kind of hide their mistakes but this one is a little longer echo and it's really faint so it, it's not there to clean up Getty's vocals. It just just sounds awesome. At 56 seconds, 
there's a guitar eighth notes and then a sustained one that's a really low note that sounds really cool. So listen for that at 56 seconds. Okay. All right. So it starts off with Neil on the and at a minute and four, then he adds the tom with the and that is one thing in all of music that I love. I love when a drummer is doing instead of on a hi hat or on a ride when he's doing the tom. I love that. And I wondered him, do you know? Because I think you can hear the hi hat going and the tom going at the same time. Is that dubbed, or would it be the sequencing thing? Are you talking about the low tom part where he does a? Uh, something like that are you talking about where it sounds like he's doing a bongo part yeah more like, like a bongo it kind of reminds me of alex van halen's roto tom sound okay kinda. yeah so you're talking about that part right there uh no yeah he overdubbed okay be, be because and this is the one thing i've never understood and I might have brought this up in an episode prior. Um, the best was it, in concert when, when when he's on the hi hats and then he has to go to that part. He he stops playing the hi hats. He's just doing that little conga bongo part on his high toms, which I figured, you know, maybe no, they would have had the technology yeah. on why. He didn't huh? hit something to, to yeah. have the hi hat part still going while he did the tom work, right? But even to when they played it on R forty, no, not R forty Clockwork Angels. He you the hi hat disappears so he yeah. can do that part. And I, I like that. I like because it it probably would have been just as cool. I mean, obviously, from the live from Clockwork Angels, it's just as cool with just the Tom and not the hi hat. But it sounds pretty cool, and I like when they have um, a really produced song arrangement, and then just find a way to pull it off live. Right. Yeah. So it makes you wonder: Did they do it? Did they record it that way, and then said, "Let's just figure out how to play it live," or did they have the song the way they played it, and then they added all the stuff to it? Like, it was it the chicken or the egg? Who knows? Well, all right. One minute, 19 seconds. There's a thing that Alex does, and uh, it happens in the Duran Duran song, Ordinary World, where there's this one line on the guitar. It's like a... And then at the very end of the song, they play that... He plays it... I don't. I think it was Andy Taylor. I don't remember, but he plays that same riff, but then it's electric. So it's more like... Oh, and I love when he... when I love when they'll play the same riff, either either acoustic or not distorted and switch to the distorted. Right. And Neil does that at 119. He changes that. And then he turns on the distortion more to the. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You mean Alex. What did I say? Neil. It's your fault. Yeah. Well, <laughs> yeah. I'll exchange it to that. One minute and 54 seconds. You can hear. Just a ring, an acoustic guitar in the headphones. If you if you're listening, you can hear just a ring. Um, last one, at least that I have noted. There's probably a lot more because it's longer than a two and a half minute song. But the harmonies, Getty's harmonies, because you know I've said it before. Yes, I'm not always a big fan. But on while they're in Vader's dream, the harmonies. Right, that's, there that's are a good. That's so a good cool. harmony. Yes. yes, that is so cool. I do like this. So this good. might be, I don't know. This seems like it's going to be a long, a long, really long episode. For terror joys, right? Yeah, all that for one song. Who would have thought one anyone song. could talk that long about one song? You know, I, think, uh, I think the song deserves it, though. It deserves it. Yeah, it's a good song. I hope, I hope we can devote as much effort and time and love into No One at the Bridge when we do Caress of Steel. Oh, yes. Yes. Oh. <laughs> and speaking of love, we yes, love that uh, you're listening or watching us right now. He's, he's we right. love it. He's right. We love it. He's right. And we hope that you'll uh, listen or watch us more. Yeah. Uh, 
we've got uh we're on all these the uh, are we on all the socials all but one so far I'm okay we're it. all but one and then uh you, I, you can find us shane where can we be found every rush song at every rush song everywhere youtube twitter wow you name it we're there it's incredible I, it's, we're, we're living in the future my we friends are. yeah and just you endless universe well, this has been fun. Shane, take it to taking it home. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, this is how Tim, damn it, this is how Tim brings us home. We want to thank you so much, Provo, Utah. You've been an incredible audience. Good night. <laughs>